the body has to come down with uniform acceleration and what is responsible for it to come down gravity i've already told you the requisites the ingredients for free fall initial velocity is zero using bt graph i derived expression for a body moving in a straight line for an object which is coming down under gravity initial velocity is always zero 2 h by g so very evidently you can see time of fall again depends upon h and g hello students this is as this sir again from the temple of excellence today we shall give a covering fire the last session on the discussion of one dimensional motion what do i discuss here as to why an apple from the orchid tree comes down and falls on the genius head why a ball that is struck from the bat of kohli reaches maximum height comes down to the hands of the fielder a very established concept something called motion under gravity free fall and the topics that are associated with motion under gravity now the first concept here is to realize what actually is free fall or what actually is called motion under gravity very clearly here any body moving down along a straight line a body which comes down along a straight line with constant acceleration under the influence of gravity is called free fall and i have an object here at certain height from the floor i am holding this object as i release this object it comes down along a straight line the object is falling down along a straight line and as it comes down the necessary criterion is it should have constant acceleration the body has to come down with uniform acceleration and what is responsible for it to come down gravity and that is what is called free fall freely falling body free fall of an object so a body which comes down along the straight line i am releasing the body a stone or a pebble or a ball from a certain height it comes down 
with constant acceleration why is it coming down what is responsible for this motion gravity and that is what is called free fall now i hold this object at a certain height set above the ground so at a certain height set above the ground the object is held and it is at rest when i say it is at rest clearly means the initial velocity is zero so please know for free fall for an object which is coming down under gravity initial velocity is always zero and as it comes down you can see it will acquire some velocity so it gains some velocity the velocity is acting down in the same direction of g so for any body which experiences free fall for any body which is coming down under gravity please know students initial velocity is zero and acceleration is plus g and you will understand for vertically upward motion if a body is thrown up at the maximum height final velocity is zero and a is minus g why little later when we understand gravitation we will explain just know now for a freely falling body for motion under gravity initial velocity is always zero and a is plus g so what is free fall students it is the motion of a body coming down along a straight line what are the constraints requirements the body should move with constant acceleration and this happens due to the influence of gravity now in this case i will derive an expression for final velocity and time of fall for a freely falling body i have to derive an expression for final velocity v and time of fall time as the body is coming down for a freely falling body i've already told you the requisites the ingredients for free fall initial velocity is zero a equals plus g and h is the height from which the body is released so my first task is to derive an expression for final velocity for which i consider the third equation of motion which was the third equation of motion yes sir we remember v square equals u square plus 2a yes i have to derive an expression for v final velocity initial velocity is zero 
A is plus G. Yes, displacement here is nothing but the height, height from which the body is released. Substituting here, V square equals 0 plus 2. A is nothing but plus G. Why plus G? Sir, we know because the body is coming down. Free fall, release from a certain height. So A is considered to be plus G. And yes, is nothing but H. Or V square equals 2G H. I want only V. So V is root 2G H. So very clearly you can see the final velocity of a freely falling body is independent of time period. It depends upon G. What is small g? Acceleration due to gravity and H. What is H? Height from which the body is released. So please do remember the final velocity of a freely falling body V equals root 2GH. Now, I will derive an expression for the time of fall. Again, time taken by a freely falling body to reach the ground. Time period irbeko, distance traveled irbeko. Therefore, the equation is naturally the displacement equation. S equals ut plus half at square. Again, substitute. What is yes? Sir, we know it is the height from which the body is released. Very good. Yes is nothing but equal to H. What is that? Yes, height from which the body is released. Initial velocity again 0. A is plus G. So substituting. Yes is H. U is 0. Half A is G. T square or 2H is GT square. What am I deriving an expression for T? So T square is 2H by G or 2 T is root 2H by G. So very evidently you can see time of fall again depends upon H and G. G is the same anywhere on the surface of the earth. So, it directly depends upon H which is the height of fall. Now, coming to the last concept of my discussion, again clinically important, something called equations of motion under gravity. Using BT graph, I derived expression for a body moving in a straight line. Using those equations or I can say modifying those equations, we will write equations for a freely falling body. Equations which describe the motion of a freely falling body. So what was the first equation of motion? V equals U plus AT. Here for free fall U becomes 0. A becomes G. So the first equation of motion for free fall or motion under gravity 
V equals GT. Second equation of motion S equals UT plus half AT square. Free fall adaga. Height is H. U is 0. Half GT square. So H is half GT square. Second equation of motion. Third one, we have derived V is root 2 GH. So these three give us the three equations for a freely falling body. So my dear students, we have understood the aspects of one dimensional motion. Maybe studying the various graphs. Maybe the equations of motion. Maybe motion under gravity. So these equations, these concepts, they play a fundamental role in understanding the higher aspects of motion. The next chapter, I'll come up with the next type of motion, motion in a plane. Until then, please go through the fundamentals here. Thank you.